Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes. And for this video I'm back with another book review. This is another book that I read as an advanced read copy from NetGalley, but it came out yesterday and I only wrote my review the night before. So I'm going to try and make this video as quickly and as well as possible and just upload it soon. So this book is called To Kill a Kingdom and it's by Alexandra Christo. 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 I don't know how to say a name, but it's called To Kill a Kingdom and it's very, very good. And this is like the other book I got from NetGalley. I'm very sad that I didn't get this one to read in person because the cover is so gorgeous. I'll put a picture like here somewhere. And I can imagine that it's like shiny and gold and so I just want to take endless pictures of it. But I don't have it. But I did get to read a copy of the book ahead of the book's release. I just decided to wait until the last minute to review it. So, like last time, shout out to NetGalley, thank you for sending me books. First and foremost, I have this huge soft spot for books that revolve around the ocean, whether it involves like pirates, mermaids, sirens, sea creatures, or like any mix of those things. So when I first heard about the story, and I was scrolling through NetGalley, I was like drawn to it and I knew I had to request it. And you know, I was very happy that this appeared in my library. The first point I want to talk about is Lyra or Lyra? Let's go with Lyra. She is the female protagonist in this book. She is a siren. And she's probably like one of my favourite characters out of all the books I've read this year so far. I've only read like 10, but she's a very good character and I know that I'm going to love her for a long time. She isn't some like soft, sweet young girl on the inside. She's like unapologetically vicious and cold-hearted. And we can quickly see that this is the end result of a lifetime of abuse from her mother. She's like feisty, angry, mean, conniving without ever going overboard to become genuinely unlikable. And I love her, because I like a strong character. And she does have like, moments of vulnerability as well, so it's a good contrast between the like, different ends of the spectrum. Another thing I like about this book is that it's a retelling. You might have guessed, but this book seems to be based a lot around the Little Mermaid story. I'm not sure if it's officially confirmed, but there's definitely a lot of parallels between this plot and that plot. But this story is like so much more than just a retelling or like something inspired by something else. It takes this idea, like chews it up, spits it out and makes it something new and refreshing and exciting to read. And this book has a book story for the Sea Queen who's like the equivalent of Ursula. And explains how the power of becoming queen turns sirens into these like, terrifying creatures that are more tentacled than human. But they're still incredibly powerful and magical. And she wields her power with like pure brutality, like even against her own family. And it's an exciting twist on the classic tale, and it pulls in other stories and folklore, like King Midas and, and the Gold. Another thing I like is the interesting friendships and relationships that we see develop and like grow throughout the book. Elian's crew is like everything. The story emphasizes the importance of found families, as blood is truly nothing more than blood. The people who choose to love, support and protect you unconditionally are your family. The story depicts beautifully like, how important it is for you to choose who is worthy of your time and love. And there's romance in the story, but it isn't in love at all. It's slow burn and full of like good witty banter and back and forth chatter between Lyra and Elian, and it's sort of fun and sharp to read. It has the enemy to lovers trope, but it doesn't fall into like the abusive territory or the power imbalance that I know a lot of other books are prone to falling into. And I was rooting, rooting? I was rooting so hard for both of them the entire time. And I think one of the things I like most about this book is the world and the world building and the sea lore. The world building is crafted and presented like seamlessly. Instead of having like some books have like a chapter that's dedicated to like, telling you the history of the world. It like weaves it in and it's quite nice and you learn like as you go and like as other characters learn. The entire story's imagery is so impressive and there's so many scenes that are like visually breathtaking. Like if I saw that up on the big screen at cinema I would be like clutching my pearls. The sirens aren't portrayed as these like frail beautiful creatures. They may be gorgeous, but they're powerful and wild and merciless things that they can wipe out grown men with a single blow. That's why I aspire to be. There's mermaids too, and instead of having like mermaids and sirens being very similar, they're 
straight pal. The mermaids are inhuman and grotesque and they're completely different to the sirens but they're creepy and dark and I loved every moment when they were on the page. This book had me captivated from the very first page and if you like read my Goodreads updates as I was reading it, like literally the first line had me hooked and I was like completely in love already. And this is the book I can easily imagine myself picking up to read over and over again. And on Goodreads I gave this book 5 stars, maybe a 4.5 but it's worthy of the five. Now it is time to read you some quotes. Hearts are power, and if there's one thing my kind craves more than the ocean, it's power. Technically, I'm murderer, but I like to think that's one of my better qualities. Love is a word we scarcely hear in the ocean. It exists only in my song and on the lips of princes I've killed, and I've never heard it from my mother's mouth. It's the princes who hold the allure, in their youth, in their allegiance of their people, in the promise of the leader they could one day become. They're the next generation of rules, and by killing men I kill the future, just as my mother taught me. And my favourite one? In my heart I'm as wild as the ocean that raised me. So thank you for watching this video. I will leave the, some links to the book in the description because you should definitely pick it up, definitely read it, definitely buy it, support the author. I love it. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye!